is a pretty good comment, you know, and I feel like in today's age, time we in right now, I feel like this is a perfect time to, you know, build upon these type of conversations. So in a nutshell, she basically says that men were meant to lead and women were here to be our rib and our help. That sounds good, but when you go deeper into scripture, you know that the time we in are not a time of righteousness. You know, the world was given into the hands of the wicked. That's why Satan is the god of this world. With that being said, the world is not in order. It's way out of order. That's why you see the things we're seeing. I wish I could speak deeper on it, you know, but just turn on your TV for a little while and I'm sure you figure out what I'm talking about. But anyway, were men mentally, that's safe to say, if you believe in the scriptures. You know, my foundation is off the scriptures, so I do believe that and I live accordingly. But when we go into this society, that's not the case. You just take a look at Skid Row. There's a lot of men there. How did the men get there? They led themselves there by making the wrong decisions. That means they are not capable to lead unless you're talking about the wrong damn decisions. Now, I could give examples after examples, but I'll just give a few, you know, to follow my point of the first video I made that this comment came from. Let's give a few examples of how women could be a better leader than a man in certain situations. Let's say a, a woman from Idaho grew up on a farm her whole life around her granddad, around her dad. Say they had a potato farm. She was there when they were fixing their tractors, trucks, wagons, whatever it may be. Has Knows how the whole ecosystem of homestead works. You know, say she goes to college and goes to New York and meets a white collar man. Never been around that type of lifestyle at all. Don't know nothing about anything out there. They decide, hey, we both tired of this lifestyle. Let's move to the country. Let's start our homestead. Who is more able or capable of being a better leader in that situation? The woman. Now, is that to say that the man can't study her and study books and become a better leader? No, it's not saying that. But at that time, when they move out there, that woman is going to be more able to be a better leader to reach their destination. Now, let's say shit hits the fan. And you got a woman that grew up in a military home, did, you know, 20 years in the army, went to three or four tours. Versus a man that grew up scared of guns, doesn't like confrontation. Who's going to be a better leader when the shit hits the fan? Now, like I said, we could do examples all day of how a woman could be a better leader in certain situations over a man. So should men be leaders or are men meant to be leaders? Yeah, if you're going according to scripture. But look at the order of the world. Most men don't believe in scriptures nowadays and most women don't believe in scriptures. That's why one third will be chosen and two thirds will be destroyed. I ain't lying.